Welcome to part six of the series. And what I'm gonna do is begin by taking this silver and putting it in a bucket here. It's holding two of my beakers hostage. And so what we're gonna do is transfer silver into a high density polyethylene bucket and to free up some of the uh, beakers that I'm needing for these processes. So here goes, silver going in. And at least I'll have the uh, glass available for the processes that we're using here. density polyethylene bucket here plastic bucket it's a two gallon bucket and I'm gonna set this out of the way now it's full of silver first thing I'm gonna do here is I've still got some solids some solid pieces of silver in here and what I'm gonna do I should have left this boiling and nitric until all that silver was gone. I think some silver got in here. So I'm gonna put this, this is my black solids. I'm gonna put this back in there. I'm gonna add some more nitric acid. And I'm gonna let this boil until all of those solids have completely dissolved. Before we go any further, I want all the silver out of there before I try to process this with aqua region. Turn some heat on and we're going to let this boil now. Okay, now we're going to bring down this uh, silver solution and see if anything precipitated out of here. Like I predicted what happened. Let's see what we got in here. Yes, I do see some precipitate down in the bottom of this beaker. Here you can see the solids that have precipitated out. Not very much, but we're going to filter this and get this out of here. Here we go. We're going to vacuum the uh, gold out of this solution here. The solution was my silver solution that had DMG in it. It was allowed to settle overnight. And any gold that was in that solution has precipitated it out of the solution so we're going to filter it out now solution with purple foam forming on it purple is the color of gold what I've probably gotten here is a little bit of colloidal gold that's passing through the filter colloidal gold will go right through a filter paper but I just had to capture a shot of that it's pretty cool looking green liquid with purple foam Try to go after. I'm gonna 
take the copper out of here, this beaker. I'm going to use these pieces of residual copper to cement the silver out of the solution in our uh, uh, flask that we just filtered. back here it's got a little bit of gold in it I've got my uh, silver coming out of solution on copper in this beaker I set this back out of the way and then what I think I'm gonna do is uh, I'm just gonna put this filter here doesn't have very much in it, but there's a little bit of gold there. I think I'm just going to put it right in. Put this solution back here that's boiling. There's going to be some silver back here anyway. So I think if we just put this back in here, we'll be doing okay. At least we got everything gathered into the uh, into one spot here. I'm just going to throw the filter right in here with these solids and let it boil in here. Oh, I just love working around this camera. Just so handy. seen this silver cementing out on that copper and it looks strange to me not like anything I've ever seen I'm gonna pull it up here Let's take a look at this thing Let's see what we got in here wow it's very strange Concentrated nitric in there, and 
anything that's soluble in nitrogen should go into the solution here. I don't get a big reaction. I'm thinking just about everything that's going to dissolve has dissolved in there. This thing's been on boiling two hours with all that nitric and all that heat. There's no way there can be any solid pieces of silver left in here. Pulling it down off the heat, we're going to let this solution cool down and then we're going to filter the solids out of there. The solution has been allowed to cool to room temperature. I'm going to use my vacuum bottle and draw that solution up out of there now without disturbing settled solids on the bottom of the uh, beaker there. here fairly sure it's going to be some precious metals of some sort but what we want to do is get everything all filtered out here you tell me I see pieces of silver in there got some pieces of metal down in this uh, beaker still I pulled one of them out right here do is drop this piece of metal down in this tube and now what we'll do is I'm going to add some nitric acid to it I'm hoping it's not silver if it's silver it will react with this nitric tells me this is probably not silver in here. It might be a platinum group metal. Add some heat to this thing. Nothing happens. So that's got to be some other kind of metal other than silver in there. Don't know what it is. Said I'm beyond my uh, experience limit here with these metals and what I have in the solution and in these solids. So we're just going to have to uh, consider that all the uh, silver has been removed out of this now. And add everything in here, even these solids coming down here. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to put it in the rest of the solids in our filter here. Just out of curiosity, I've got a little bit of nitric in here. What I'm going to do is add some hydrochloric acid to this to form aqua regia. That little piece of metal's in there. 
try eating this up now and just see if we can uh, <clears throat> put a little bit of this in solution and find out what we have, what kind of metal we have in here. solution on it and now we'll uh, test it with some stannous chloride here we'll get the stain there
we're going to bring our uh, silver up here in the center. Take a look at it. It's our silver solution that we added copper and cemented all the silver out of it. And uh, got some large pieces of silver in it. There's quite a bit there. This is a five liter beaker and it's probably up to the one liter level with pieces of or, uh, cement silver in it. What I'm going to do here is I've got some more copper. I'm going to dip a piece in here, see if we still get a reaction on it. If any metal forms on this piece of copper that I'm sticking in here right now, then that means we still got metals in solution. And we do. See that? That silver is still forming on the copper, so not all of it has cemented out yet. I'm adding these pieces of copper. Add another one in here. As you can see, metal forming on the silver there means we still have metals in solution that are cementing out on the copper. This is the bucket that I poured off the silver from the other two beakers too. Silver level is about right here. This is a two gallon bucket. That's about one fifth full of cement silver. When I get done cementing everything out of this solution, I'll add this in here and we'll get a total volume of silver. It's probably going to be about right up to here when, once I get all the metal in one container. I'm going to have about a gallon of cement silver when I get done with this process. Now, let me get this out of the way. I'll set this back out of the way and let this continue to react so we can get all the silver out of that solution. I'm going to pull these up now and take a look at these. What this is, is our palladium that we've cemented out of the uh, solutions that we dissolved in nitrate. We used DMG to concentrate all this material. And now what I'll do is we'll take this and dissolve it in aqua regia, filter it out, and then we'll uh, cement everything out on zinc here and go from there. Okay, one more thing before we conclude the video here. I set these uh, palladium concentrates back here out of the way. I'm gonna pull this silver back up here. salts in both of these beakers precipitated and concentrated in these two filters here so we pretty much got everything that uh, we're after out of these filters into concentrated forms so that now we can go for the refining if you look back here I'm getting a lot of fume production the silver's bloating and floating to the top, that tells me that uh, I've got excess nitric in there. And then I remembered that uh, when I was processing the material in that filter up there, I had to add a whole bunch of nitric acid to try to get all the silver solution. So there's gonna be excess nitric in here. 
So before I conclude this, I want to put this container in this container down here to contain it just in case if it decides to boil over. These are my filters that I started with. All nice and clean now. What I'm going to do is put them in this uh, storage container with the other filters that I uh, recovered the metals from in uh, my previous video. And I'll just save these. And these will get burnt and processed for the traces of metals that they might contain. For now, what I'm going to do is uh, move our beaker into this container so that if anything overflows, I've got it in this con catch container and I won't make a big mess. Alright, that'll do it for part six of the series. I've got the metals concentrated into their values the best that I can. I'm kind of out of my element here uh, with refining the uh, silver cell anode filters here because it's a whole bunch of different metals combined together and I, my job is to separate them. Usually it's straightforward. Silver refining, gold refining, no problem. I know exactly what to do. But when you got all these other metals and other compounds that we're adding to precipitate, it becomes much more difficult. So I guess uh, this will conclude part six. Thanks for watching.